What is up everybody? Welcome back to CKT Outdoors. Today we are going to be unboxing a Guggen Squad Mondo kit. So starting out, we take a look at the front. It tells you you get a flat banger, a zinger, a juicy jig, a cracking crawl, and a sun mask. So that's what's going to be inside of here. So we're going to pop this open. I've already actually seen what's in saw inside because I got it for a Christmas gift and I thought I'd show them what I got to show the person that got it for me what I got inside. So I'm going to open this thing up and you pretty much drop this off. So this outer layer is just kind of like a sleeve for it. And then you get kind of a mystery tackle box style box, which you just open up like this and open it and everything good is on the inside so the first thing I'm going to be pulling out here is the Guggen Squad Zinger so as you can tell this thing comes in a white color with a little uh, pink spot on the front of it and it's got two blades on it this is going to be a perfect bait for clear water, sunny day, calm fishing. Uh, when you're fishing in sunny and clear waters, white is an amazing bait to go, go with. Uh, light is going to reflect off of the, the white and it is going to stand out to the fish and also these silver blades are going to just, when they spin, they're gonna catch light and catch the fish's attention. They're also gonna create movement uh, on calm days, so that's why this would be a uh, good, good bait to use on a calm, sunny, clear skies day in clear water. So the best way to fish this is probably going to be clear water and a calm day. That's when you're probably gonna get uh, hits the most and this is a 3 8 ounce weight on it and it's got a Colorado number two and a willow number four blade so I don't know which one's which I'm not into the blades much but that's the description of these blades so like I said these are gonna this is gonna be a perfect bait to use uh, when you're out on clear calm sunny water this is going to be a perfect bait to use. So I can't wait to get out and uh, put this in the water and hopefully catch some fish with it. So we're going to move on. The second thing I pull out is a pretty sweet Guggen Squad sticker. So I'll have to find some place to put that. Uh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, but like I said, I'll have to find some place to put that. Uh, we'll pull out the next one is the Juicy Casti Casting jig as you can see this is in a brown kind of speckled color so uh and this is has the let me read on the back of it um this is on a, a flathead uh weight um so it's and i don't know if you can see there it's a half ounce and as you can see it's in a, a brown and kind of black coloration with a little bit of a shiny head to it. So uh, I, I, I would fish this kind of bait in more muddy water. Um, depends on the lighting outside. I'm guessing your best bet is probably to fish a little bit more of a sunnier day and that'll kind of glint off everywhere. But I would fish this on a sunny day. Um, in muddy water brown is a good muddy water color and but i with all the uh glitter on it and shininess to it i would say that it'd be a good bait to use in murky water but just where the light can start to reflect on it but this is going to be a bait you would put a trailer on so some sort of you know craw or something on the back of it just to give it that extra motion and it's also got a weed guard right there. So I'll let you guys take a good close-up look at that. But it's not as nice 
uh, hook guard so you're not getting caught on logs or on some weeds. Uh, so it's pretty much kind of a weedless jig. So that's going to be a nice jig to use in murky water. But so hopefully I can get uh, going on this one. I'm not a huge uh, jig fan. I'm, I'm not. I've never really been good at it. I've been good at kind of more lizards and stuff. Not not stuff with trailers on it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to move on to the next one here. And I'm going to pull out the. Guggen Squad face mask here is, I, I probably won't pull it out of the package just yet, but if you can see up in that corner, it's got the Guggen Squad logo there with kind of some dripping uh, fluid kind of look to it. So I'm not going to open this up. I'm going to wait until fishing season, but it's 100% uh, polyester microfibers and on the back, it's just got a bunch of, a diagram of a bunch of ways you can wear it. So this will be something pretty nice to have on uh, those sunny days when you're just trying to get protection from the sun. But we're gonna move on. We've only got two baits left. And we're going to pull out the flat banger. So I, I am super impressed with uh, Guggen Squad hard baits. I mean, just look at the detail in that bait. It is crazy. Um, this is their uh, citrus uh, shad, I believe. Um, probably one of my favorite baits on the market. I also like the uh, sriracha craw color, but this is also one of my favorites. I actually have a um, clutch a Guggen Squad clutch in this same color, but this this is going to be a great bait for clear sunny skies water. Uh, very lots of coloration. You've got your bright greens, your whites, your bright blues, and a little bit of patchy orange on the bottom. So that's just going to make it pop when there is sun and clear waters. So this is going to be a good bait to use on especially sunny days. It's just going to pop, attract those fish, and it's just going to be hopefully an overall good bait for those types of days. Uh, on the back, it gives you a little dip description. Uh, it's diving. Diving depth is three to six feet. So you're going to probably want to use this in a little bit of deeper water, um, not in shallow waters uh, like I would be like I would mostly be fishing, so I'd have to find some good, probably more public ponds to fish this in. And it's also two and a half inches long, and it has, it, it's a half ounce in weight. So it's also got uh, two treble hooks on it. And as by the name, you can pretty much tell it is the flat banger. It's got a flat bill to it, allowing it to dive to the depths it's supposed to reach. So just take a minute to admire that bait. I mean, look at the detail and the design in, in this. It's, it's flawless. So an amazing bait. And like I said, use this in clear, sunny sky waters. Um, I'm sure it would work just as well in murky, murky water on sunny days, but ideal to catch fish sunny skies clear water this thing is going to pop with its bright colors that sun is going to reflect show off those colors bass are going to hammer this thing so we're going to move on to our last bait in the Guggen Squad Mondo kit and the last bait I'm pulling out is the Cracking Cross. I I love the Guggen Soft Plastic Baits. I think they're durable. They are just fish magnets. My favorite uh, Guggen Squad um, Soft Plastic Bait has to be their uh, Drag and Drop Baits. I love that one. And I get mine in murky minnow color. Absolute favorite bait from Guggen Squad. But this Guggen Squad is in chartreuse pepper. 
And it's kind of got, it's pretty much a green with some black and uh, light green flakes in it. This is going to be a good bait for clear waters, but cloudy days. So if you guys don't know what kind of water waters go with what colors, usually you try to go with bright colors like these whites, silvers, and all that kind of stuff that will pop on sunny days and clear water. That's just going to allow that to pop and those bass are going to be after those baits. And um, on sunny or on cloudy days with clear waters, you wanna use greens, maybe some uh, light blues, something a little bit darker in color, but still going to be able to be seen through that clear water. And on sunny days with murky water, you're gonna to wanna to go with something more red, brownish color, maybe like red, like darker reds, not bright reds. Bright reds I would use on the clear water and cloudy days. But on sunny days with murky water, this would be something I would go after. You know, it's got that color pop, but it's also a dark, it'll blend in with the murky water. But I don't have any here, but when there are uh, cloudy days, murky water, you're gonna go, want to go with as dark as colors as you can. Dark blues, uh, blacks, and just overall dark colors, dark, dark reds if you can find any. But that is everything in the uh, Guggen Squad Mondo kit. I didn't really describe the Crack and Cross much, but I'm just gonna kind of read off the bat. They are stuffed with salt. Um, they've got pinchers on the front, which you can't really see because of the logo. Um, they have V ridge action on the claws to give it some motion. Um, they have, they're segmented, giving live looking features. And they also have, uh, they're four inches long, great pro profile and a versatile design so that is all for the guggen squad mondo kit like i was telling you guys how to use these bait and if you want to go get one i don't know where they found these baits but i know you can get one from guggensquad.com and i mean amazing baits but like i was telling you guys use these baits on sunny days with clear water and then on cloudy days and clear water use more greens and uh, other colors kind of close to this in color but not dark on sunny days with murky water go with some browns some dark reds and a little mix in of black so that's what you're going to try to do on sunny days with clear water and on murky waters with uh, cloudy skies, you're gonna wanna go with almost straight black, really dark reds, and really dark blues. So that is all for today on the Guggen Squad Mondo Kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably a little short, but I thought it'd be cool to do an unboxing of this Mondo Kit. I'm really happy and I can't wait to test these out in the water and i also want to hear you guys opinion about this i've also been thinking about doing some bass fishing tournaments this summer so put your opinions about that down in the comments would you like to see that would you not like to see that or do you just want to see more of my usual type videos so i hope this was a cool video to watch to see what was in the mondo kits but i also hope this was a pretty cool and instructional video on uh, what baits to use and what colors. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please do so. It really means a lot to me. Uh, we just got 200 subs not that long ago, but we really want to get to 1,000 subscribers one day. So hit subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And we'll see you all next time on CKT Outdoors. Peace.